the bomb goes with Enigma. Colossus was very, very different, and it never worked on Enigma. Colossus was specifically designed. Oops, to attack the cipher machine manufactured by the Lorentz Company. This is a very different machine. It's a desk machine. It does not have rotors. It has what they call pinwheels, and there are 12 of them. They're called pinwheels because around each wheel are a series of numbers, and against those numbers, slots into which metal lugs can go pins into the pinholes of the pinwheels. When a message goes into this machine, it gets scrambled 12 times. It does not come out as scrambled egg, it comes out as custard. <laughs> the whole purpose of Colossus is to establish the pin settings and the start positions of each of those 12 wheels. So we start off with high-speed electrical impulses converted into five-hole paper message tape using teleprinters and telex. The message tape is put into a continuous loop on the machine, and that particular tape is being revolved at 30 miles an hour. The magic eye centre right there and the photocell reading system is processing 5,000 characters a second. It's analysing the holes in the message tape. Using the power of the computer, it's analysing all that information, and behind me here you can see the camera. When that counter gets to what it calls its optimum ratio, the machine will make a noise, and the operator then has to print the result here. Remember, it's got no stored memory. Every result has to be printed. Once they've got the first result up, they go back to the switches. Remember, it's switch controlled. They adjust the switching, because all they've got is the very first pinwheel. There are 11 wheels to go. Now, normally, these messages were very long, so it could take up to six hours to establish all the settings. Once they've got those settings, they move to another machine called the Tunny Machine. And I'll be showing you a rebuild of this um, in the afternoon. This is a wartime control one. With three rows of unit selectors, and on the front, a large panel. You see lots of white pegs on it. The white pegs represent the pins in the pinholes. All the settings, of course, established by Colossus. So having got all the settings, they stop the schools, take this message tape, separate it, feed it through this machine once it's plugged up, and out on the rolling typewriter at the other end should come several pages of high-grade intelligence. Now Enigma, which had a vast volume of traffic, was used at what they call an army level. Lorenz was used at German high command level. So when the top field marshals and generals went off with their armies, they set up headquarters, send themselves off to fight, and amongst their other duties, they had to send regular reports back to Berlin, encrypted on Lorenz. In Berlin, those messages read by Mr. Hitler, and then he in turn would draft his battle instructions back to his generals. In a major feat of intelligence, unbeknownst to anybody in the world, the authorities here at Bletchley Park were actually reading all Hitler's private mail. Hence my assertion earlier on of Hitler's conviction that the main uh, invasion would come across the Straits of Dover, not Normandy, which his generals deemed so to be. He thought that was a fake. So just one of the many examples of what it's all about. <laughs>